So with this first posthumous album coming out this Friday called What It Means To Be King by the late King Von, I'm wondering what's gonna be the theme of this album. It's gonna be like a typical King Von song where he's dissing Tuka or dissing another deceased person that's not here to defend herself. Or is it gonna be an intricate storytelling song that he's been through? Cause if you ask me sadly, I feel like it's the first option that I said. Just based on the first song that they put out called Don't Play That, which was a massive grail by King Von fans. And that's the main issue right there, personally speaking. Cause it's hard for somebody like me to bump a song when they're dissing a dead 15 year old. While the victim's mother gotta hear this constantly throughout people's cars or on the radio. To a point she had to beg for an interview just to cry out and say that Tuka is not a strand of weed, it's her actual Son. What do you want the industry to know? And what do you want the entertainment industry to know? What do you want other rappers that have brought up your son's name to know? Tuka is a whole person. It's not no strand of weed. He should be remembered as no strand of weed. He have a mother. He has family out here. You know what I'm saying? He has people that love him dearly out here. So all this stuff y'all talking about, y'all smoking on Tuka and dissing him, you can't dance with the devil and expect God to forgive you. You can't do that. It's either or. And it begs the question, how can people still knowingly notice and still play King Von songs unremorsefully? Like, don't get me wrong. If you like the song, you like it. But won't something like that after seeing his mom cry come to the back of your head? Because it definitely would for me. And King Von, he's not the only one, but he's the one who's been most blatant and disrespectful about it. Fuck Tuka, let me get it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Fuck Tuka. Yeah. And now that he's gone, I feel like it's pretty ironic that a lot of people are doing the same thing to him. Such as artists like Takashi69 and NBA Youngboy, where they're straight mocking his death. King Von said, when I die, my niggas is on slide every day. Cat, nigga. That shit is cat. Who slept for King Von yet? That nigga rest in fucking piss, nigga. And by no means I'm saying that he deserved it or anything. But if you do believe in karma, this would be like the ultimate price that King Von is paying. Cause for so many years he was just another dead people. So when the same thing happened to him, a lot of people's not gonna have that same sympathy or come to his defense while he's being dissed. Which regardless whether it's karma or not, it's still wrong to be disrespected after you die. And I just hope King Von fans get a better understanding of that. Cause I'm pretty sure a lot of them are young and still teenagers. So they think it's cool to diss somebody while they're dead and can't defend themselves. But once it happened to their favorite rapper, they got a problem with that. Which is blatant hypocrisy right there. Cause if you're a Fan of King Von and you feel disrespected by him being dissed after he died, you should also have that same compassion for somebody that he's dissing after they died. It shouldn't be because he's King Von and he's more famous that you value him more versus somebody that lost their life at 15 years old. But yeah, like I said earlier, I'm hoping in King Von's new album he's not dissing a dad as much, which probably is gonna be the case because that's what he got famous for. But now I just look at this as a continuous cycle that I hope one day sooner than later will come to an end. But these are my thoughts and opinions on this new topic. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a nice day. She got to hear songs about motherfuckers smoking her son every day who ain't had shit to do with nothing. They ain't killed. Vaughn ain't killed Tuka. Dirk Nell ain't killed Tuka. So why was it safe for y'all to say, we smoking on Tuka? But now, as I see it, somebody on y'all level said some shit. Now it's a problem. Mm.